Um, the main purpose of today's session is actually to play and have fun with the nunchaku, but then to try and apply it to any weapon. So the kind of objective here is not to just use a nunchaku, it's to use any weapon. So if something is in front of you that you need to use as a weapon, um, we're going to use the skills that we are going to practice with this particular tool um, to be able to make that happen. These days, it's probably not legally appropriate for you to walk around with nunchucks in places, uh, or swords, or knives, or any of those kind of things. Um, but there are other things that are laying around, and they mimic the traditional weapons, and we're going to have a bit of a play with that today. Uh, the history of this, um, there's two different uh, schools of thought, um, and uh, so the first one is that this is based on a Chinese weapon, which was a staff with a chain between it that got shorter. Um, and the uh, second train, uh, chain of thought is that this was a rice flail um, in Okinawa and when they took away the sharp objects uh, when the samurai came to Okinawa and uh, required them to use farm implements as weapons and that's where that comes from here. But there are actually other examples of this in other martial arts, uh, Philippine martial arts, um, other South, Southeast Asian uh, martial arts have got very similar weapons and even if you think about it in more Western context, you know, the mace kind of things with the chain and the ball and the stick on the end. They're all very um, similar kind of flexible weapons. We're going to start off with finding our own space. And we're going to start off um, how to hold the nunchaku. Now, I've seen a whole bunch of people that have held the nunchaku down here at the end. That is one choice that you have, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to start off holding it right here on the end, right here on the end, like this, okay? And we're gonna start like this, just making a number eight. And the number eight involves me using my wrist to make a number eight, and the number eight is going towards me, okay? The idea here is that we're going to use this to try and get some control with the weapon, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna catch this underneath our arm, okay? so. Right here. Okay, so you can go one, two, three, up and over if you want to. Or you can go one, two, three, and bring it in just like this. We're gonna just catch the arm, uh, catch the weapon underneath our arm. Okay? So I like to bounce it. So I go boom and bounce. Okay, so boom and bounce. But you might be able to get it through something like that. It's fine as well. So we're just gonna catch it like this. So that's a bit easier, a bit boring, right? So we're gonna to add to that a strike. And the strike is, you're going to flick the weapon out and bring it back. Out and bring it back. Just like that. Get away from me. Boom. Boom. Okay? So, you can spin it a little bit, bounce it, catch it, and strike. Spin it a little bit, bounce it, catch it, and strike. Now, the way that I gathered that from my number eights is I bounced it first. And then I caught it. Okay? So, that bounce is actually also a catch, okay? So, as this comes up, I catch it with the other arm, okay? So, up, catch it with the other arm. So we're simply catching the weapon just like that, okay? So, there, that's your bounce, that's your catch. There, catch, catch, catch. Now, the last time what we did was we brought it back and we caught it on this side. But it can obviously also be led by the other one, and that's our second strike. So as I'm coming in here, I am able to strike over here. Okay? And so in the cut that you guys may have done with me before, this is our number one. This is our number one angle. Alright, we'll go through all of those angles soon enough. So from this position over here, so we had our catch, we're going diagonally down. Boom. Now, if you hit something on the way, which hopefully isn't your classmates, right, the weapon goes out of control and you need to recover the weapon. Okay? If you miss, it hits you and you need to recover the weapon. Okay? So, as we're going in here, there, we're going to recover the weapon by bringing it back and going up. Okay? We're not going to go boom, boom. We could, but we're not going to. Right? We're going to go boom. Wrap back. Boom, wrap back. Right from there. Yeah, 
So I sequence. I'm here about to catch. Go. Sequence catch. 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 Hit. Rap. Bam. <laughs> okay? This is not a nunchuck, this is a stick. Okay? You can tell because it doesn't have a chain in the middle or a piece of uh, rope or something, right? But it's exactly the same kind of idea. My sequence from here is one, two, three, four, five. That's the first five. Okay? So it goes one, two, three, four, five. Six, all right, so six is right over the top of the head. Seven, eight, awkward one, nine. Okay, so that's the sequence. So, so far, with our nunchuck, we've done a five. All right, that's a straight attack, that's a five. And we've done a one. Now, often from a one, it's going to be really difficult for me to do something like a four or something like that, right? So we're really thinking about trying to use the sequence to help us. So one, very naturally, moves into a two, okay? So before, we were just wrapping it this time. One, two, three, four, okay? So we can do our four exactly the same way. So we're going one, Two, three, four, and recover if we want to. Okay, so it's the same sequence. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so um, I'll go back to my stick, and I'll just quickly get to uh, six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now, six is a really awkward one for this particular weapon, right? Um, right? So, six is going straight over the top like this, okay? Now, with a stick, six is no problem. That's a good six. Craig, can I borrow you for just half a second? Right? So, I won't. So, a six over here is hitting him right on the top of the head, right? No problems, okay? But if I do this, my stick is not going to hit me. Right? I'm going boom, I might hit the ground, I might hit something down here, but it's not going to cause me any trouble. But you can imagine, again, I, I can't easily simulate this, but you can think there's a six here, so we print in here. A six, we're trying to hit him on the top of the head here. But you see, this thing, own goal, is coming, right? So if we do this, boom, we're going to end up own goaling ourselves. All right? Boom. All right? So, everybody bought their box, I'm sure, to be able to protect themselves. So we have to think about how we can recover from a six. So, what you can do from this, is you can use your thigh, so you angle it around your thigh, and bounce it off your thigh. Accuracy is required here. <laughs> All right? so, so, we're going one, two, three, four, recover, five, up, six, bounce. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is the bounce that we're using right there. Now, I can go fast, it's fine. All right, but the key is if we're thinking about angle six here, boom, don't own goal yourself. Boom, stopping it, own goaling in your face possibly or even in here because it's a flexible weapon. Right? So bring it back, bounce it up, bring it back. Obviously, we're in this position over here. Boom, seven is pretty easy. All right, so we're going in here from seven. Boom. All right, the weapon's going to go through. Gets you perfectly lined up right here. All right, for eight. All right, so boom, 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 boom. Okay, it brings you back to this side after doing eight, and then it gets you nine. Now, nine obviously is going straight up. So again, if you're thinking about nine, so Craig, I'm just going to borrow you again. So nine, right, we're thinking about something like this, under the chin, boom, or in the groin, something like that, there's your nine, right? And if I screw it up with a stick, there's no problem, right? My nine, no problem, kind of like Tony's nine, right? Boom. 
But we've got this annoying flexible bit in here. <laughs> All right, so my nine in this way is going to keep going. All right, so if I'm going in here, it's going to keep going. All right, so we don't really want to own goal ourselves this way. All right, so what we're going to do is take the nine, bring it back, and go back into our catch. Okay, so nine becomes that catch. So there's the chin, boom. All right, so we're going under there, or groin, boom. Okay, so one, two, three, four, recover, six, seven, eight, nine, catch.